had this strange dream. I dreamt that there was this big crane, like the ones that they have in the scrapyards. And it was like a big hand and it came down to the, to the house. And it wanted to take the house away. And then suddenly I woke up and I was standing in front of a open window ready to jump out. So I must have been sleepwalking. Yeah, so I moved in with them. Um Dynamite. Well, yeah, that was the nickname of my third husband. And uh, we moved into this tiny house in this uh, village um, in, the, in the end of the road. And it was surrounded by forest. And he actually had a relative that hung himself there a few years earlier. But anyway, yeah, we started to renovate the house. And, and a few days into it, um, I wake up at night and it's this... Uh, man sitting in the end of the bed with this um, rope around his neck and he's begging me like please don't renovate the house please don't renovate the house and I don't know what to think or what to do so but anyway we kept renovating the house and also I was thinking to myself that if I don't renovate the house will I have this man at the end of the bed f- for as long as I live there or or what's going on so yeah, it was going on for the whole time we renovated. But once the house was finished, he just vanished and never... Yeah, he never came back even. But I had another uh, experience with a spirit when I was 20 or 21. And this spirit told me... He told me that he would always be following me my whole life. And I always felt like there's something like right there behind me, like follow me around. Um, yeah, I always kind of felt like I was followed and yeah, I'm 85 now, so yeah, see what happens. <laughs> 